Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3 Now My name is Jack, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to 3D print with Cura over a USB cable. Some people do not have, say, an SD card reader on the computer, or just for some reason want to control their printer and print over a USB cable. So this video is for them. I did get some comments on my Cura Slicer videos about printing over USB cable, so I'm gonna make this to address those questions. So of course, the first thing you want to do is download Ultimate Air Cura. And the most recent version when recording this video is 4.2.1. So when they released Cura 4.0, it was a big UI change. So it does look a little bit different. So if you have an older version of Cura, some of the things I show you and some of the settings and options and menus might be in a different spot or might not be there. So I do recommend getting Cura 4.2. So of course, the first thing when printing over a USB cable is to connect your printer to your computer over a USB cable. So on my Ender 3, I have my USB cable here and I'm gonna connect it real quick. There we go. And once they connect, some new options are going to show up in Cura. So I'm on my Ender 3 profile and if I go over to the monitor tab, you can see here, it shows some options here and shows the serial port that's connected to my computer with. So I do want to give a heads up that you might want to plug in, say your laptop if you're using a laptop or turn off sleep mode or anything while printing with a USB cable because any little thing will stop the print midway. I've had prints going for eight to 12 hours and I unplugged a USB flash drive on my laptop and then it stopped the print halfway through. It was really frustrating. So if you're using a laptop, you wanna plug it in, or if you're using a desktop or a laptop, make sure to turn off the sleep mode and unplug any peripherals that might interrupt your print and basically click start and do not touch your computer because any little thing might stop the print, which is not very good. So in Cura here, we can see we have my profile here. You can click down here, add a new printer if you don't have a, a, a profile for your printer yet. Basically, you just put in the bed size of the printer, the filament diameter, the nozzle size, things like that. All right, so when we bring in a file to print with Cura, it recognizes that we have a printer plugged in and will give you the option to print over USB. But first, we're gonna head over to the monitor tab and I'll show you how to control your printer. So you can see here on the right side, we have all, all of our controls. If you did have an Ultimaker printer, which has a camera, and Cura is made by Ultimaker, so the Ultimaker camera will show up in this spot right here, but we do not have an Ultimaker, so it's just gonna show us our controls on the right-hand side. So you can look at the camera view I have to see what's gonna happen when I change these controls over here. So we can see here that we have one extruder. Right now it's at 21 degrees Celsius. We can preheat it to 195 and click preheat. And you can see the fan turned on and on the screen it shows the 195 preheat. You can see here that the temperature is going up. Also over here, we can preheat the bed as well. There we go. And now they're both turning on. Also, we can go down here and jog any axis. So we can say, move the head right a little bit. And over here, you can change the jog distance. So if I wanna go pretty far, I can go up to 100 millimeters. You can go down to one, move pretty slow. Just like that. We can move the bed, the Y axis. Just like that. We can also move the Z axis. Just like that. It's all very responsive and you can use these controls to move stuff around in the printer. Say if you're fixing something or if you wanna work on something, if you wanna unclog the nozzle, things like that. So I'm gonna just cancel these preheating for now. Also down here, we have a setting to send G code. So we can send codes to the printer that do stuff. Like we can change settings on the printer. We can change options. We can also preheat, move the axes, everything we can do here, plus a lot more with specific G code commands, which is awesome. Down here, I'll show you the active print, the job name, the print time, settings, stuff like that. So now that we have this covered here, we can go back to prepare and we're gonna prepare an object to print over USB. So, so what better object to print than the 3D Benchy? So we're gonna drag that in. 
and it's going to show up here. Got a little 3D Benchy. So I did make a video on how to slice objects in Cura, all the settings and everything in depth. I'll link that up in the iCard above if you want to check that out. So I'm not going to cover slicing in Cura and the specific settings in depth. So we're going to just use the standard PLA settings. We're going to go to settings here. Layer height 0.2 is fine. Wall thickness 0.8 is fine. Everything looks good for now. Infills 15 is good for now. Print temperature 195 on the nozzle, 60 on the bed. That's fine. Print speed 55, that's fine. Support, no. Skirt, three layer. Yep, so everything looks good for now with the settings. You can go ahead and retract that. So right now it tells us that's gonna take an hour and two minutes using 10 grams of filament, 3.41 meters of filament. So now we can see um, it says print via USB. So you can just click that and it'll start to print over the USB right away. Or you can click here and save to a file. Say if you wanted to save it to your computer or save that file to an SD card, which then you can plug into the printer as well. So we're gonna go over to the prepare tab and it's gonna prepare our, our model and show us each layer that it's going to print. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, rotate around. And we can see it's gonna take 239 layers to print. We can go down each individual layer. We can actually go through what the tool path is gonna be for each layer, which is awesome. Or we can play it, which it does it automatically, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna pause that for now. So now that we see every layer, it all looks good. We have our skirt on the bottom. Everything looks good, we can go to the monitor tab. You can see here, everything looks good. All right, so now we can go and click print via USB. Once that happens, it's going to take us directly to the monitor tab. You can see here, it automatically started to preheat the printer. We can't use any controls because the printer is printing itself. We have the job name here, the print time, and the estimated time left. We have a little status bar here that says that it's starting to print. It's 0% finished because it's just warming up. We can also pause the print, abort the print, pretty simple controls with the monitor tab of Cura. So again, everything's really simple, easy to use, user-friendly with printing over USB on Cura. So now that the printer is starting to warm up, it's gonna take a few minutes and it depends on your printer, how fast it warms up, things like that. So it's warming up the bed first, you can see here, the bed's at 54 Celsius out of 60, and the extruder is at around 100 with a set temperature as zero. The extruder heats up a little bit faster, so the bed usually starts first, we can catch up, and then there we go. Now the extruder is starting to warm up, and as you can see, it goes a lot faster than the bed, so we should be ready to go pretty soon. Again, when printing over USB, you have to keep your computer on and plugged in the entire print. But if you're printing over an SD card, you just load that file onto an SD card, plug it into your printer, click print, walk away, it's standalone, it's a lot easier. But I do get that some people want to use their computer because they don't have an SD card slot or they just want to monitor their prints on their computer. So, looks like we're all preheated. Now the printer is going to start printing. So there we go, it's gonna start homing. So the printer is homing right now to the start position. You see here, the status bar shows that it's starting to print. There we go. Now I don't have any filament, so it's not gonna actually extrude anything, but just showing you that the printer is printing properly. And we can see the print progress here. So there we go. Now you are printing over USB. It's pretty simple, easy to use. Here is a very simple and user-friendly piece of software. So I'm actually just going to abort the print. It's gonna ask me, do you wanna confirm it? I click yes. There we go, now it's going to abort because I don't have any filament in the printer to print with. But there we go, now it's cooling down the printer, setting everything back to zero degrees Celsius. So I hope this quick video helped you guys out. Again, I'll put a link in the description to where you can download Cura. So thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you wanna watch more 3D printing videos like this. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Like this video if you liked it, and I will see you guys in the next video.